I was going through a lot of health problems and I had went 910 days without fighting. So this was the longest time in my career I have ever went without fighting. And I was supposed to fight in Brazil and I blew my knee out. So three years of not fighting was rough, financially, emotionally, stress-wise. So in the beginning, you see the path of where you're going. So I saw myself and I saw the gym and I saw the, the sidewalk, the path to get there. But at some point along the way, that path disappears and it doesn't look like you can walk any further. And I think that's where 99% of the people quit and they give up because they don't know where to go. They don't know which way, which way is the right way and, and how to get to their success, right? Um, and so I ended up taking a fight, uh, UFC on Fox 4, to hopefully win and get the money to come back to Thailand and start AK Thailand. Basically everything about this gym starting rode on that fight and luckily Dana bumped me up to the main card, gave me a big fight, and uh, I ended up winning the fight, getting knocked out of the night, getting a big bonus, and then I was able to put all that into this project and that was how AK Thailand was born. You know, living in Thailand full time right now is a cultural difference. You know, it's a very different country, but it, it's unique and it's special. So you have to embrace the culture and embrace the environment of any place that you go to and you have to respect it, you know, if you, especially if you're gonna build a business. You know, one of the big reasons that I, I wanted to do a gym here is to hit this part of the world. I knew there was so much talent, so many good fighters over here, and I've been coming to Thailand for 16 years. Now I have this, this class and, and this group of fighters speak so many different languages. Oftentimes we can't even communicate. It's just like sign language, and, and we just kind of know how to communicate without the use of words. But to see them train hard and accomplish their goals and win fights is amazing. You know, it's, it, it's actually really, gratifying and rewarding and, and that's a big reason why I built this gym was to, to be able to have these people come through here and live their dreams and, and at least at least spark that that career that's gonna last them forever and then hopefully they'll do the same in their future with their success they'll build more success and, and, and continue it on. We had Mark Hunt come in and he was coming off of a loss and uh, it was very, very important to get him back on the winning track. And he did a great camp at AK Thailand and, and I got to corner him for that fight and he fought Bigfoot Silva and he won. You know, to have a guy like Mark Hunt come in here who's a legend of the sport, a guy that I was watching when I was a kid coming up, you know, and, and watching him in Pride and, and Japan and all these big, huge fights in K1, to be able to be his coach and trainer now and, and already having a crew was really cool. And, and then to be able to give him the camp that allowed him to win that fight, you know, and that was, that was awesome. That being said, I want to continue to grow and continue to build AK Thailand and thus not only helping the students and helping the, the guests that come here to train, but also the community in which uh, lives around AK Thailand. So I know Jet Li's philosophy is to push yourself to the max and give it all that you have. Put your whole body, soul, and spirit into everything. And that's, a, that's the way I live, and that's the way I've always done my whole career. You know, be it fighting or be it building business. You know, I, I give everything I have, and I'm a big believer in sacrifice. You know, giving up something now to reap rewards in the future. So I think we share that philosophy, and I try to instill that on, on my students and the people that, that train here because I think a lot of people, it's hard to get the sacrifice part. A lot of people don't want to sacrifice. They just want to reap the, the benefits and the rewards. You got to understand that life is really, really tough when you're coming up. And if it's not, likely you're going to be successful. Every successful person that I've ever met or known has had a really hard time getting there. So someone can't just walk up and give you success or you can't go and purchase it if you get a lot of money. You have to earn it. It's like respect. And so that's what makes it so sweet.